Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. My name is Rakshit and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going for a tour of JCB, Organized by Engineering Department. So I'm gonna go get the bus now and I'll catch you all shortly. So well, for those who don't know what JCB is, JCB is actually this company that makes excavators and all these sort of industrial machines. And they're really well known for that. So the headquarters is in East Midlands and it is a few hours drive away from here. So the university has organized a bus and I'm gonna go catch the bus now. JCB to date is a family owned business for one known for developing some of the most sophisticated excavators. Well, uh, when I was young, I used to call these rollies because they had big tires on them and well, they used to roll on the road. We were welcomed into the JCB's visitor center and given a VIP pass. We had to put on these reflective vests because, well, later we visited the shop floor. That's where the manufacturing line is. The people at JCB are so passionate about what they do. Our guide started as someone who paints these JCB machines and now, well, he guides and trains leaders. Well, we were, we were taken through a health and safety brief by the CEO of JCB and then through an early career scheme. JCB is a company with a very long and rich history. The business was established by Mr. Bamford in 1945 but with history since 1940s. In the early years, Joseph Kyrell Bamford began the business bearing his initials on trailers made with surplus World War II parts and scrap metals. The famous 1940s manual tipping trailer was made using tires from a fighter aircraft and hubs from a small howitzer. He even went on to develop a tipping trailer with hydraulics all from spares and scraps. In the 1950s, JCB launched the first hydraulic excavator that featured double acting hydraulic cylinders. He had seen excavators when he was travelling and when he came back to England. He knew he could fit a, onto a tractor that had a major loader, that's the bucket in front, that he led on to the invention of the first backhoe, as they call it today. Well, today every other truck with a major loader and a backloader is a JCB. What our guide is showing us now is the 3C backhoe that was launched in 1961. Well, back then safety wasn't a thing, so it didn't have any doors, and the operator had to climb into the seat. However, this came with a revolutionary new feature. This designed a kink post that could slide so you could dig with the excavator in parallel. Well, enough of their history, we had an opportunity to see their patent wall. The floor underneath had the actual patents that the company had filed. Passing by the Lord Bamford's photo on the left, the original Bamford's office is still kept intact. It has a view of the entire shop floor and still has the original desk, chairs and conference table he used from 1970 to his retirement in 1975. I then got to try out the new platform for JCB's cabin designs. Well, it's the future of cabin designs and trust me, it was one of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in, more than any other car. That in front of us is a JCB Diesel Max and that broke the land speed record for the fastest diesel vehicle. We then went through a gallery of the future innovations and the future that JCB wants to go in all electrification. So now let's get to the good stuff. What opportunities does JCB have? What kind of job and earlier career schemes do they offer? Well, JCB offers a really good program for all engineering students. You got the engineering graduate, the manufacturing engineering, electrical and electronics and future technologies graduate. And you take part in many competitions and get posted to different roles within that area to understand what you're passionate about so that you can work in that area. So that was a tour of JCB. We went around the factory floor, the, well, the visitors area, and there was just so much to learn. Unfortunately, I couldn't show the visitors the shop floor where they actually do the manufacturing because that's all high tech and top secret. But, but there is a big chunk of the history that we got to learn and I've also got a lot of facts for you guys. So thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.
Thank you. Thank you.